We are fortunate to live in a town with such dedicated people from various backgrounds who are willing to build bridges of friendship and understanding. I don't know how many years it is in the making for us to be able to bring Muslims and Jews together into one room, talk about our commonalities, because it's a lot easier to explore anything else if we can figure out what we already get along with and what we already do that's good. Pray that wisdom and tolerance will over influence the meeting here today. And I will leave the microphone after praying to God Almighty to bless each and every one of you and to protect you and to open more avenues to continue not building bridges, but maintain these bridges. Such an honor to stand here before you. The Imam was telling me as part of his chaplaincy that he prepares for all different faiths. And he even, he even helps for the preparation right now of the upcoming Jewish festival of Passover mm -hmm. in preparing the, 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 the matzah everything. for everything matzah. that's necessary. It's a continuation of the past and moving it, channeling it to a better place to the future so communities could come together, brothers and sisters of humanity could come together, realizing our commonalities, embracing that. Inna lisani yaqifu aajizan an wujudi amamakum. إننا سعداء جدا بلكائكم وبخطواتكم الكبيرة. And uh, Rabbi Gabai said uh, the Jewish prayers in Arabic. Tears just streamed down my face. I had never heard that before. Especially uh, addressing the audience in, in a perfect Arabic and and totally connecting and the humanity that he exhumed during his speech. We have uh, the sacred history that we share. Uh, the tolerance that is so embedded in our text that we have to embrace one another and uh, build hope in our hearts for a better future, not just here in Detroit, in Michigan, throughout the United States, and I would say even to be so bold throughout the world. I'm going to share with you today some of the things we found. Um, it's, these are also all reported in the report that you have. Our charge and sort of our goal as we started this was to get a better understanding of the potential connections here in Southeast Michigan for your two communities. Uh, and the AJC and the MMCC shared the survey, an online survey link that we helped design. Uh, in the end, that survey was in the field for about three or four weeks, and we're pleased that we had 600 responses to it. This is a fine survey result. Um, a lot of good information we were able to sort of carve up and look at in a number of different ways. When the survey asked why God put us in this world, a majority of the respondents identified this by saying, one, to make the world a better place, and two, to live in harmony. And this commonality of purpose really gives us a great deal of hope. It was to figure out how we can reduce the barriers to engagement and reduce the apprehension that may exist in certain segments of our community and just have more interaction, you know, which is going to lead to a multiplier effect in the region uh, from today's activity. I truly believe that this event would have happened one way or the other, but it is happening now because of the vision of the Rabbits Foundation. It would be untrue to say that this work is easy or it is not sometimes frustrating or difficult, but we need to keep moving forward keep forging relationships, building friendships, and increasing understanding. It's really exciting that we see already that people are interested in learning more and more about each other. We've put together five different sessions with different community leaders. One is on civic uh, engagement with state representatives Rashida Tlaib and Vicki Barnett, who are a Jew and a Muslim serving in the State House in Lansing, are very close friends. We have one on social services, we have one on um, tectonic leadership with Brenda Rosenberg and Samia Bassoon. So when I saw you know, a Jewish lady and a Palestinian lady talking about resolution and using tension to form um, you know, uh, a relationship, it was just, it was powerful. 
I didn't expect it to be that. We have one on cultural connections in the media, and then we had another session on demystifying the other, which was an opportunity for Jews and Muslims to learn about each other's practice and culture and community. So the first four sessions will run, and then in the, at the end of that, everybody will have the chance to hear from Professor Saeed Khan and Howard Lukovich from Wayne State University. There's a lot of misperceptions uh, that the Muslim community and Jewish community have about each other. And uh, this is going to be a time where these two speakers engaging with the audience are just going to break down a lot of barriers. We do share ethics, and we share values, and we share justice and a sense of justice. We share family cohesion as paramount for our identity. We have an emphasis in our respective communities on education and on success. It's the organic, and I put this in quotes, reach across the table over lunch ethos that we have seen and experienced here today which augurs the greatest promise. In America and elsewhere, has, today has much to learn from the fact that this is a very long-standing relationship. Muslims and Jews have known each other, have learned from each other, have lived together, well, going on almost a millennium and a half. That's a long time. Uh, from a cultural aspect, it was wonderful. It was very good prepared talks and really illustrated a lot of how our community has already been together for so long. We're not here to set the agenda. We're here to actually help deliver and uh, listen and learn and then help move things forward that are important to both communities. When we come back a year from now, we can discuss how proud we are on the things that have changed, on where we've improved and celebrate the things that we've accomplished over the year. There are all kinds of ways that people can work together and we have to figure out more how to do that and follow up this wonderful day with uh, personal interactions and then more organizational interactions. It was a wonderful event for me to come. I didn't come with this expectation. I thought it would be uh, uh, more of the same as has been in the past. Uh, to me, I was happy because I saw people that would not normally be together, and it gives me hope for the future.